Here's everything that happened in medicine this week in 60 seconds or less, part one. So on Monday in a small Italian study, we found that GLP-1 drugs like Ozempic may be able to reduce the severity and the frequency of headaches. Moderna also released their new information in regards to an mRNA vaccine trial for the flu, and they found that it was about 27% more effective compared to the standard flu shots. Lastly, we found that a colon cancer at-home test kit was just as useful at predicting colon cancer 10 years out compared to a colonoscopy. On Tuesday, we learned that chemotherapy may be able to age red blood cells similar to the typical aging process for individuals who undergo chemotherapy. In China, a study of 2 million women found that as they got older, there was a higher risk of HPV by about 15%. On Wednesday, we learned from a study that there was a 10% increase in breast cancer risk for individuals undergoing hormone therapy with estrogen and progestin, but if you just underwent estrogen, it was actually a lower rate. And lastly, we learned that areas with high air pollution had similar links to tobacco-related changes in mutations for tumors. Now, of course, this wasn't everything that we covered during the week, but if you want the links to everything that we did talk about during the week, you can either watch the older videos or you can go to my Substack, which is free in my bio, and you can read all about everything that happens each day. You can also subscribe to stay up to date, or if you want to help support, there's some ways for you to do that in the bio. I'll see you tomorrow for part two.